welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to share with you my favorites for the month of December last year. So, um, I have been using quite some products that I have been loving so, so much that I thought I have to share with you. I'm going to start off with my skincare routine and there are so many products that I have been loving for my face and I am the type of person who likes to change her skincare routine according to the seasons and though it is quite, 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 um, warm outside for winter i would say like normally it will be snowing during this time but today it's like 11 or 12 degrees so celsius that is and yeah the weather is just amazing outside the sun is shining and yeah it's amazing so i'm gonna start off with some products that i have been using and loving so much and the first product is this um i uh, hope you can see that it is the um it's a Hold on, a lot of people correct me for this, so I always say Rasul Mud, but I'm not supposed to say that because Rasul always, uh, obviously means um, profit. So, um, yeah, it is called Rasul, if I'm pronouncing that, okay? It also says like Rasul on the packaging. Normally it says Rasul with the R, and then I'm like, well, that's what it says, right? But anyway, I don't know why I'm saying that, but anyway, um, this is the Rasul Orange Nourishing Skin and Hair Mask by Maghreb Beauty. So these are, um, it's a company here in Holland and they have amazing products, I found out about them. And um, yeah, I've just been using this product because I am very into natural uh, products. So this is what it looks like, it's just a mud clay and I use this um, twice, um, twice a month I would say sometimes once a week I would say that you can do that but because I am lazy and I'm gonna be totally honest with you I use this like twice a month but this stuff is amazing first of all it smells so good and um, yeah this just makes your skin super soft and I just love this I have been using this the next product that I want to talk about is the Magra Beauty Pure Argan Oil with Lavender. The reason why I chose for the lavender version is because I cannot stand the um, scent of um, normal argan oil. It, I think it just has that weird scent that I don't like. And because I use my argan oil during the night, I like for it to have some lavender because it's very calming and soothing for the skin. So this is 100% natural. Um, uh, argan oil and um, it has like 0.1 percent or something like that um, lavender oil just for the scent and yeah I love it and another great thing is that it has like this um, spray so you know there comes off a lot a little bit of oil if this is enough for your entire face I love this product it sinks in so quickly into your skin and just makes it super soft so I will leave the links down below of every product that I am mentioning so it's easier for you to look up. Uh, moving on, I have my favorite brightening product. Okay, so here's a weird fact. I have been obsessing over peeling my skin. I don't know why. I don't know where this obsession comes from. It's crazy. But yeah, so I have been using the Brighter by Nature by Origins Peelings Pad peeling pads I mean and oh, um, it looks like this it's just like a pad and you take that and you go all over your skin after cleansing and everything and right before you moisturize that you do this and it just makes your skin so 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 smooth and so bright so I love that especially if you have like dark spots and everything like that it's amazing just like I said, I am totally into peeling my skin, so the next product that I'm going to mention is the Philosophy The Micro Delivery Peel. This product is amazing. This product saves you so much fun money from going to the um, to a beauty specialist, like a skin specialist, and get your peel because now you can do it in the comfort of your own house. I love this. First, you use this step, which is like a, what is it? It's like a peeling. Um, it looks like this and yeah so you can tell I have been using this like cray cray I use this once a week and then this is the first step so first you use the crystal crystals crystals to um, go over your skin and then over that you use step number two which is a um, lactic salicylic acid activating gel so you rub that over 
the peel and that is what make sure that your skin comes off and after that I wouldn't recommend going into the sun or anything like that so be careful with that um, in the morning I like to use a moisturizer because in the evening I only use a um, oil the one that I mentioned before but in the morning sometimes oils they are too you know I wouldn't say greasy but they are more rich so it kind of leaves like this layer on top of my skin and when I apply a foundation or I don't it just does not look right it looks very shiny on my skin so um, I have been using Origins of Perfect World Antioxidant Moisturizer with white tea and I just love this moisturizer first of all it smells so clean and um, yeah it, this just is a regular moisturizer I wouldn't really 100% recommend it because I feel like it doesn't do anything special for the skin but the only thing that I love about this is that it doesn't dry out my skin like I have tried a lot of moisturizers and they, oh, they you know um, feel very moist when you apply them and right after it but after an hour my skin just gets dry patches again especially during the winter So and um, that's the only good thing about this one it doesn't give me any dry patches even if it's you know evening already and I apply this in the morning the moisturizer still works so that is what I love about this one and then last but not least for my skincare I have this brush and it is by the body shop I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before but I love this brush to just um, cleanse my face with with a cleanser usually I use my um, Clarisonic but for some reason I feel like that dries out my skin a lot more so I just use this and I go lightly over my skin like once to get really get in there because my skin is used to you know having a lot of cleansing going on because of these Clarisonic. So I got this from the body shop. It was only like four euros I believe and it is just you know great for doing facials. Moving on to my favorite makeup items. I have here the Michael Kors um, Flush bronze powder and though it says bronzing powder I would not recommend using this as a bronzer I have been just using this as my blush this is what I'm wearing right now and it is just a gorgeous blush I would not recommend using this as a bronzer because if you do that you're gonna look like a tomato it's really has a reddish um, reddish pinkish undertone you don't want that all over your face my next three favorites are from the brand called uh, Flormar I had never heard of this brand before but I went to Amsterdam and I saw the store there and I was like what is this it was like a huge makeup store and I went in and I found out about their brand it's called uh, Florma and it is from I believe it was from Italy and the products were made in Turkey um, so yeah that is what that is yeah they're made in Turkey but the brand is Italian so these are amazing products for an amazing price like these are I would say they're quite, um, yeah, I don't know how to describe this. Like, the quality of these products are amazing. But, um, yeah, the price is super cheap. So, that's what I liked about this brand. The only eyeliner that I've been using is the Flormar eyeliner pan. It's amazing. The packaging is quite cute. It's just a white with gold. I like that. Um, as opposed to the black packaging which just looks kind of boring but still good um, this is the Flormar full coverage concealer this is really a full coverage concealer I love this concealer it's really good as you can tell I've made it all dirty and this is in the color oh it doesn't have a color on there that's that's what sucks about these products they don't have a name or a color but anyway it's the lightest shade that they had because I like for my under eye part to be lighter than the rest of my face um, to give that highlighting effect and this is the concealer it didn't crease on me and I love that because usually concealers do crease a lot on me um, then I have the deluxe shine gloss by Flormar and it looks like this it kind of looks like when I first saw this color it looked a lot like the MAC Rebel but what I like is that it kind of has that lip, gal lip balm consistency so it's like a quite sheer color and it's the color D39, I believe. I don't know if that's true or not because I see a lot of numbers under there too, like B07942. So I don't know what the color is, but it's the, um, it's kind of like a burgundy, purpley color. And I love it. And then my last two favorites 
Uh, one is by Revlon. It's the Photo Ready Concealer, which I have been also loving. It's a concealer that did not crease up on me as well. But I do use a powder, just like I use with any other concealer, to set it because I don't trust them throughout the day. And what if I'm outside and it just starts creasing on me, you know? But right after application, this doesn't crease, and that it a lot of other concealers do. So the Flormar and the Revlon, they don't crease up. Um, so if you don't have a um, Flormar near you, you can always go for the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer and I have used this guy quite a lot. Um, so the last product that I have been loving a lot this month is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the color Fawn and this has an SPF 20 in there because I have been peeling like crazy. I do want more SPF on my face and um, this product is just super lightweight and it's great for during daytime because it does not look like you are wearing any Thing that is tinted it has a very natural color and it's very light coverage and I just love this product I have been using this every day and especially uh, because of the SPF 20 I love it even more so, so that's it those were all my favorite products for the month of December thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you do like my favorites videos please give this video a thumbs up that way I know whether to do them every year every month or not and yeah please subscribe to my channel um, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. I'm on Twitter now. And I also have Tumblr, but, you know, because I don't have a lot of followers on um, Twitter and Tumblr, I don't really know whether I should keep using that or not. So please follow me. And, um, yeah, that was it, you guys. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Inshallah, take care. And for all the link products, you can check out the description down below. And see you next time. Bye.